right, so uh, one of the things to work on, uh, remember what I talked about yesterday, violence of action. Um, when it comes to your violence of action, how I like to think of it, you know how people say first impressions are everything? So if Kevin's coming up to me, you don't need a weapon for this particular one. There you go. So if Kevin's coming up to me and he's threatening me, talking about he's going to beat me up, and I'm like, ah, 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 ah. All right, what kind of first impression did I make? If, if I knock him down, do you think he's more likely to get up and run away and be like, forget this, or is he going to try to attack me again? As opposed to if he comes up and he threatens to beat me up, and I'm like, ah, ah, nowhere near as intense and violent, right? So what we need to make sure we do, especially if someone's coming at us with a gun or a knife, is that we really step up the intensity to make them second guess the decision they made to attack us in the first place, okay? So we'll do the knife here again, and now we'll just we'll do, go from a, a nice even slashing motion. Right? So he slashes. I want to get back. I want to pass. I want to pass. I want to pass. Now, here, uh, go ahead and slow it down just a little bit. So what I'm doing... I'm not just coming straight across. I want to use the back of my hand here. So if I get cut, it's not on my tendons. But I don't want to bring it straight across like this because I'm helping him cut me. I need to go down and in towards him. Or if he catches me, I need to just get out of the way and back. Okay, and then he slashes. I can get back. And then I can come in and remember what we said about effective range of the weapon. I control, strike to the back of the head. Turn this from here, elbow strike, and get out of there. The whole time I'm moving, the whole time I'm defending myself, there's a violent action involved, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to slash. I'm going to get back. I'm going to come in. Bring this down. Bring this down. Come in. I'm on him here. I want to control the knife. Stabs down. Back up and get out of there. Now... The other thing to keep in mind <coughs> when stabbing someone, yeah. if there's no blood groove on the knife, you're not going to be able to stab and pull it out. What will happen in real life, no blood groove that is, is I'm going to stab and it's going to get stuck because it's going to form suction, okay? So what I need to do to get the knife out is I actually have to twist and cut out. So when we stab, we want to get used to doing motions like this instead of motions like this, because without that blood groove, that's not going to cut it. You're going to end up sticking them here and then trying to pull the knife out of their body. So, And it's also way more damaged if you start cutting them open that way. It's going to be harder for the wound to heal. So one more time with the knife. We're either going to get out of the way, put a wing in the trap here, control the wrist. Remember, we can come around these two things here, bring this back in, strip cut it out here, or we're going to cover up here with the back of our hands, get this in here, now I can come in this way, I still want to control that here, and back up. Now the other thing to remember is that when we grab the knife, we might have to grab at the blade. We don't want to do this, because if they pull, it's going to slice our fingers up pretty bad. We want to grab it like this. And it's not the best position to hold the knife, but if I get the knife, I can still apply a healthy amount of pressure and not necessarily drop the knife. So I can cut like that. And it also allows me here to just come and switch it to my other hand. Okay, so that's for the knife here. And now we have the gun. <clears throat> now we're gonna have the person pointing it more like at our chest or stomach or something like that. So I'm here, so if this going to apply, talk to him, please, sir, you know, I got to do whatever tonight. It's my turn to do the dishes. I got to get home. Um, and now we, we want to practice turning both directions, okay? So I still want to come in and try to get as close to the barrel of the gun as possible without arousing their suspicion. If he's like, whoa, back up, that's when it's time for me to go. So I'm going to come in, sir, please. I got stuff to do. So I'm going to practice turning this way. And as that happens, I'm going to come here under the gun, and I'm going to bring this back 
and get the barrel pointed towards them. And now I'm sighted in on him. I better not miss him from this close. Squeeze the trigger. That helps me figure out if the gun's loaded or not. If it doesn't fire, I can come in, hit, 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 take off. If the gun fires, I'll pull the trigger again just to make sure, and then I'll take off the other direction. And then this way, I turn here, and I want to bring this in. Anytime I redirect the gun and get it away, I don't want it out here because if he fights for it or pulls his arm back, I'm not very strong out here. If I'm in here and he goes to fight for it, go ahead. It's a lot easier for me to hang on to it here. Okay, and strip the weapon. Here I am again. Pop, pop. Oh, it didn't go off. Get him, get him down, and go. <clears throat> so, here it comes in. I want to get these as close to the gun level as I can. Beg and plead with the uh, person that's attacking us. Turn, bring the gun in tight. Bring this down here. Step back, fire. Okay, the gun didn't go off. Now I come in, hit, hit, hit. Or I have the gun, I fire, bam, I shoot him. Bam, shoot him again, just to make sure. We did take off the other direction. And we want to practice turning both directions because my best friend's standing over here. So I turn this way, bring it back that way. Or my best friend, my mom, my sister, somebody standing over here. I need to turn it this way, same principle applies, bring it in close, turn, knee strike if I have to, pop, pop, okay, the gun went off, or it didn't go off, I come in, hit, 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 take off and go.